lot of websites state that LNG is a clean fuel, but it's a fossil fuel and it contains 95% methane and methane is a greenhouse gas. Just a liter of condensed methane released into the air could contribute to a three foot by three foot smog cloud. If a spill were to happen, the LNG would evaporate into the air, and since it is methane, it would get caught in the stratosphere, contributing to global warming. All the tanker traffic would change the underwater soundscape and make it very hard for whales to echolocate, causing them to get lost. LNG also requires extensive pipelines for transportation. Emissions from extraction wells, plus emissions from gas processing, plus emissions from pipeline breaks equals two times more CO2 in BC's atmosphere. LNG reaches liquid state at minus 162 degrees Celsius. To cool LNG to that state, it requires 14,500 gigawatts of electricity or enough electricity to power 75% of all residents in BC. The proposed cooling system for the plant would suck in 3.7 million gallons of seawater per hour and chlorinate it while it circulates through the system before releasing it back into house sound. Do you know how many plankton, barnacles, and other sea life it would kill? Extracting LNG requires fracking. Fracking releases poisonous chemicals into the bedrock that negatively impacts the watershed and the ecosystem. target production levels would disrupt an area triple the size of Metro Vancouver. The health impacts from chemicals in LNG such as nitrous oxide and sulfur dioxide will have a cost of over 20 million.